morning and welcome to Art Through a Lens. Um, thank you know, thank you for joining me again. And I'm gonna. It's, it's getting a bit um, harder in lockdown because uh, we're all stuck in the same local area, and uh, it does get a bit. You know, motivation goes. There's nothing that inspires you because you've walked around there for the same. You know, same time for the thousands of time. Um, so it is a bit tedious so what i've been doing um because where i live i've been there and i've took photographs and i'm bored of it so nothing's inspiring me in my local area as such i'm sure there would be photos there if i really wanted to check but it's so cold and icy um you know it's nice to get out for some fresh air um, like I did the other day, I'd, I ended up taking a picture of some twigs and um, I ended up then just adding a bird onto that and it made a, a nice little image. Um, but today I'm, I've just been going through my old photographs. Uh, this is from a couple of weeks ago um, when I did a shoot for N Photo magazine and uh, this is was for their fourth image. Um, and it was just passing a, a farmer's field in the snow um, Nearabouts where I live, more inland though, because I'm on the coast, so I don't get as a lot of snow. Um, but I've cropped this. It, it was I had a lot of trees here and a wall coming down there, and um, I removed them with the lasso tool, which you can see I've still got on there. The lasso tool, and then uh, right click to fill um, with content aware. Uh, it did make a little bit uneven there as you can see but that doesn't really matter i've tried to straighten it up as well with the patch tool as much as i could and also uh, the stamp uh, tool but it would just wouldn't line up um and get it right but it doesn't ma really matter about things like that um because obviously you you are going to apply lots of textures over this so it really really doesn't matter so don't ever worry about things like that it does not have to be perfect because like I say, you are going to um, apply a lot of textures over it. Maybe even one if we're lucky, but you never know, do you? So I'll just go on my move tool again there. Right, so what I first want to show you, as you know, if you've ever watched my videos and you follow me, I usually keep my textures in a folder just, you know, all along here and things like that. So they're all my texture folders. I have now split them up so it's easy for me to find, okay? Um, but what, you know, because I've started doing my collections, my own collections, so the rustic collection there, um, some more there, the bronze textures there. So instead of having to keep getting this uh, pop up with my folders on to drag one over, I found that it's simpler, right, to go into um, windows up here Go into your libraries, so have your libraries ticked, which is there. And then this comes up here. I mean, maybe you, you already know this and you already do this, but I thought I'd share it with you just in case yeah, you're not aware of it. So I can group all my textures into Photoshop, into the library section. So I've got my, my vibrant ones. I've got my colourful water collection, I've got my horizontal collection. So each collection can have its own little space and it's all just able to put away and get back out again by this little um, square, like a save button really, of your libraries. So to add your textures, okay, I'll just show you with one. You just click on the little folder there on the bottom right hand side. And it says create new group so that's what you want to do because you if, if you've got a name for your textures you create new group it'll come up here and all you need to do i'll just show you a one all you need to do is click on um click on your actual it's not that one i'll just do it again because it's already in there that's why so i'll just try and find so say that one. So Control and A will highlight them all. I don't want to put my file there in actually. So I'll just press the tick at the first one and then shift on the last one. That'll highlight those. And all you would do then is drag the 20 
textures into there and give it a name obviously I'm not going to do that because those are already in there as well but that's all you would do um, so there you have all your textures just on your right hand side for you so what we're going to do I've got a, a tree in a snow field nothing in the sky so it's an absolutely fantastic blank canvas that we can play around with today so uh, just go through your library, go through your photographs and see if there's anything that you can crop into a little bit further. Because um, that might have not been my focal point before in this photograph. So you can actually crop into something and make a new image from an old photograph. And this is what we're going to do today. Okay, so um, I get my textures library up, my new textures library. And you just scroll through and see what we want but first I'm gonna make this dark because it's a bit grayed out because it was far away actually it was zoomed in quite a lot and it was snowing and uh, hazy um, so everything was like uh, gray so I've just gone control and L and that'll bring my levels up if I click on my picture control and L and I'm gonna bring the blacks down so I do that okay and that's just gonna darken that tree a little bit more for me if it's gone too dark everywhere else you just pin that back up and put that down again you can also do this with curves as well it's entirely up to you I just prefer using my levels and then click OK okay so I'm gonna to control and J to make a copy just in case we ever make a mistake and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on my concrete collection here. I do sell all these bundles as well. Um, I have fun making them all. And um, I get a lot of people asking me for pastel colours or lighter colours or um, can I try this or a vibrant colours. So that's why I've ended up with more um, collections as well. It's just about what people are actually wanting off me at the moment. Um, so... I'm going to choose something, it is a subtle one, I still want to keep it a subtle um, image because it's it's simple isn't it, it's just um, so, you know, I, it's an isolated tree so I want to give it that feeling still, I might actually rotate that, let's have a look, that would be better because it probably, that dark area of that texture probably be in the sky so we'll give that a tick anyway up the top there and again we'll go through all the blend modes and just see if there's anything anything that you like oh see that's so lush you spoil for choice when you go through blend modes you really are all depends again on what you like see I like that as well oh, I want them all <laughs> these textures are absolutely stunning and you can make t loads of different images from the same collection now what do I need what do I do I need want it moody do I want it lighter just Play about and have a think. It's what you get from it. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, that's the hardest thing, isn't it? I do like multiply so control L because I think it's just a bit dark so lighten that up and that's a bit better that's better then again we need to um, add a new layer mask there just to remove anything um, that you don't want um, so go on your brush tool which is on your left hand side panel there Make sure it's black because your square here is right white. If you follow me, you will know I will usually do my textures. Okay. 
So we'll click on that. Now, 22%, 18%, I'll put that up a little bit more because I don't like it to take too much away and make it look. I think I want that. I want to soften that, um, that's too harsh. So Control Z, if you make a mistake to go back, I need it on a softer brush. I've got to put on my pressure brush there. And just take that away, bigger brush won't make it as obvious because I do like the texture in the sky but I just think it's a bit heavy in places there so even if we end up taking most of that texture out it's still okay because we're going to apply some more anyway so just take your time Take out what you feel isn't right in that one. And then we will get on with our applying another texture. So choose from, I'm in the concrete. I'm gonna try and stay in the concrete uh, for now anyway, um, just to see if it gives me anything different. What a nice subtle one. So I'll drag that one over. And transform it. Control T to transform if it doesn't automatically come up. But usually when you drag a texture over, the lines automatically come up for you to be able to do that. Go again through your blend modes. And see if there's anything we're looking for anything that's just in the sky or the foreground or over overall that you like I love that sky color there that's lovely isn't it so let's let's have a a little play around with this so what I'm not liking is it's covered my tree but I love this like um, dusky pink color and I love this um, it's like a snowstorm effect going into the sky but what I'm gonna do is add a layer mask I'm on white so the brush is black and I'm just gonna take it off my tree by reducing your size of your brush And just sweep it over where you don't want it okay I don't want it hiding my tree my tree still to stand out there just from all around the tree I'm removing that texture And anywhere else you don't want it, you just remove it. Or anything that doesn't sit right with you. So I'm liking that at the moment. So now, let's scroll through my other textures. The colourful watercolour collection. I've got some lovely colours in here. Especially if you're doing um, a snow scene. So I'm going to drag that one over. My bundles are only £12 for 20 textures as well. And I have got a, a big bundle of textures, um, which is £20 for 40 textures as well. So they're selling pretty well. That's got a mixture of all colours in for you to play around with. So visit my website at artthroughalens.co.uk if you want to purchase any of my textures. So this is gorgeous. Let's see if it works. It's more of an abstract one if, if we actually keep this in there. I'll just increase the size again. 
do like that darker colour. It's hidden all the snow though. That's nice, isn't it? I like soft light. Let's have a look. That's nice. That is really nice. So what I'm going to do though, even though I do like those um, paint drips there, I'm just going to soften those because I like the dark, dark section here and the lighter section here. And it's still got my effects and the textures in the snow area. So I do like that. So I'm just gonna soften those out a little bit. If you've got a pressure brush, um, use that because you, you seem to have a lot more control. So I just want to blend that in a little bit more. You see it go? There you go. So it looks more like a wispy cloud area instead now that's fantastic i'm loving that absolutely loving it that's gorgeous right you could leave it here add some snow add some birds and um that would be fantastic wouldn't it it's, it's simple and i think you know what i think that's what i might just do now so i'm gonna be using a brush to for my snow uh, or my birds, my birds first. Always apply your birds before your snow because obviously then it looks like snow is actually in front of the birds. So we need to find, so I'll put that away now. So click your arrow, that's gone back into its library. It will do it automatically, I think anyway, if you choose your brush tools here. So I need to find my brushes for my birds. This is the hardest bit because I've got that many brushes. I can never find them. There, oh, there's some there. But I need my smaller ones. Okay, so yes, we're on black. I need my opacity further up. So 100, 100, about, more about there. You can lower it here once it's on anyway. I do like some birds. Look at those, fantastic. Just the right shape that I'm needing. Place them on, fantastic, beautiful, love it. Get excited putting my birds on. It's like, you know, it's 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 it just finalizes the the and gives some life to that image. You can actually reduce it, the opacity of the birds to eighty two percent, round about in the eighties, just so it shows that they are in the distance. And then add a new layer. And this is where we're going to find our snow. This will be a challenge as well again. Um, not unless I'm lucky. I should get them all open and prepared first. But it's like it, I never know what I'm going to make. So that's rain. I've got lots of rain. I need to find my snow. Snow? Yes. So change your... Uh, brush to white okay because we want white snow so first you, you add your snow in layers um, because obviously I've lost them now there you go so reduce you start with a low opacity when you're putting your snow on because obviously there's lots of snow and um, Further away, it's going to be really opaque. Uh, nearer it gets to you, you're going to see more white. So you can choose whatever snow you like there. So yeah, 37 and 33%. Remember, if it's further away, you're going to have a lot of small bits. So you, I'm putting this on, you can hardly see it. But it will give that effect of snow okay if i zoom in i don't know if you can see just like little specks there in the the background but we're going to keep putting more on so then what you do is increase it again so in the 50s this time 
and then do it again. There you go, and then add another new layer, choose a different snow, increase your opacity and your flow again. These are bigger as well, so obviously these are going to be white across the coming closer to you. You can actually decrease it a little bit if you think they're too big. But like anything, if you think it's wrong, you can go back later. So I think they're too big. So Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z takes it all away. Or you could have simply just untick to the eye symbol there and uh, did a new layer. It's getting the right snow. Let's have a look. Maybe that one's better. So reduce your brush size. Give it a go. See what it gives you. That's nicer, isn't it? And you just put it where you want. And that's that's about enough, I think. That's really nice. It's um it's not too white and it's like it's moving a little bit as well. Um, you know, because obviously it's falling. So yeah, but if you did want to move any, so for, say for example, we've added the snow brush there, you'd add a a new layer mask there. You change your brush tool to your pressure brush again. That, that's what I do. And then say I don't like that one. I'd remove that one. I don't like that one or I want to make it smaller. Just take it away, that one as well. You don't want any long bits or you don't want any really big bits. Just take it out. It's your painting, it's your image. You do what you like, okay? You do what you're happy with, not anybody else. You do what you like. Just take it off where you don't want. And that's just to show you um, that you can do that. Because some, some snow textures, um, snow brushes you get, sorry, they, are, they can be a bit too much on there when you just want a few little bits on. So that's quite nice. I like that. Yeah, I'll take that away because I don't like that over that area there. And I don't like that. So just take your time having a look on what you want to keep, what you want to remove. And I love that. So what I do always, you can actually control shift alt and E to stamp them all together. Or you can merge the visible or you can flatten image. Now I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to flatten the image. I'm going to use my levels again. So click on my picture, Control and L. And I'm just going to make it pop by increasing the whites slightly there. See, that'll darken. And keep you know look how your textures come out more there just by decreasing that a nice subtle image I quite like that I'm just gonna try something else though on here the circle with the half gray half white go on to um, Gradient. Choose a colour. So I'm working with blues at the moment. I don't know if there'll be any nice blues. In fact, you know, I think I might try the greys. Let's see what that gives me. So you've got it all blacked out there, okay? And then again, you just go down your blend modes. Just sometimes finishes it off um, 
a gradient all depends that one hasn't worked so just drag it down to the bin if it doesn't work what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have more control so open a new layer go into your gradient here first I'm going to choose a color so choose the um, eyedropper tool there go on a color that you want which is a darker color there go onto your gradient tool there and then it'll you'll see a cross like that there and just put that where you want it drag it down if you want it a bit darker you can go over as well and then again go through your blend modes sometimes it can just give your image a little bit more depth I like that blue but obviously it's a bit too that's better so it gave it something because that's really light and that's just darkened it up a little bit and you can also do the same here just to show that depth really and there you go I love that now absolutely love it so three lines there go on to flatten and then as always I always board put a board around and it really shows that off so canvas size let's try a five and a five press the middle section reduce that so you can see and that is my final image now that's gorgeous and it's more than I expected um, from a photograph that I've already done as well um, it's beautiful I love it and I love the I'm, I'm going for a, a wider borders at the moment because I notice a lot of people like a wider border and um, I just love it it's, I love everything about it I love the the textures all here in the foreground I love that my tree still stands out and it blends in I love that the fact it's a simple photograph just with one tree I removed quite a lot of other trees and a wall that I didn't want in my image to make that and I cropped into it uh, even though that won't be you know focused on because it was so far away um, it doesn't really matter because that is just beautiful it's a simple little piece of art and you can go away and do that look through all your photos look through old photos see if you can crop into something that didn't even you didn't even notice in your photograph before um, and you know a tree in the distance you know if you took like say a, a tractor in the foreground or a house in the foreground of a picture that you've originally done look in the background see what's in the background if there's a tree on a hill for, crop into that make a new image of that it's limitless because it is boring at the moment because we cannot go out I want to go to the Lake District badly but um, I can't so I'm stuck I'm stuck in the area where I'm bored of now and I've been there thousands of times and um, I thought you know what I'm going to go through my photo library and find something that I can make an image out of and that's what I've done and these people would be happy to hang these on their wall or give us a present for someone it's beautiful it's stunning and uh, I love the colors you just go with what you want to do and apply whatever you want to do vi vi vibrant colors subtle colors pastel shades bronze colors anything um, you could have even um, indented it you know so you control an eye so that tree would have then turned in white so it would have looked like snow and then apply textures over it uh, the list is endless please give it a go we're all in lockdown we're all going mental and um, it'll do you good just to sit at your computer making that piece of art for your wall okay don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos and uh, you will if you ring the bell you'll you'll receive notification of any new videos that I put up as well so you can watch those it's 
lovely knowing that um, I'm helping people and inspiring people. I get a lot of messages um, to say, you've inspired me today, Trudy, thank you so much. And it's so lovely. So leave comments, uh, please like uh, my videos, tell your friends, share my YouTube channel uh, so that they can try as well. And um, let's all get creating and make a beautiful image out of nothing, really. And uh, yes, if you want to purchase any of my textures to support me, that would be fantastic as well. So just go onto my website at artthroughalens.co.uk. You'll see all my collections, uh, their texture bundle collections, instant download, straight away you can get creating and um, start your pieces of art, okay? And uh, look at my images as well. And if you, if you don't want to purchase any of them, feel free to do as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much again for joining me. Thank you. Bye-bye.